do I sound a bit different? So I've been in London for a week, so I'm basically totally a local. Oh, I can't wait to see the Vikings. I'm going to do the little chant. Will you show me how to do it? School. School. Raise your school. arms up high. School. School. OK, so Greg and I won't be there this week to talk about the Bills and the Ravens game. Apparently, the Bills lost on Sunday. Wait, what's happening over there in America? Josh takes, fires a short one, trying to head down a bounds. Got to get up and spike immediately. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds. They're running out of time. That's it, ball game. The Bills suffer their first loss of 2022. Or the Chiefs-Bucks game. I am so excited to watch this one. Sunday night football, baby. Oh, right, London is five hours ahead. That game starts when? They give it off. Right side, Edwards Hilaire waits, hesitates, gets into the end zone, left shoulder first. Touchdown, Kansas City. All right, so uh, I guess I'll just watch Viking Saints live here with all my new friends at Tottenham. Pop over to the hotel and watch some American football. That's what they call it over here. And I guess just go to sleep until week five. Greg, you got anything to add? Just kidding. This is my open. I'd never let you talk. I love football so much. Game debut presented by Mercedes-Benz starts now. Thank you, Rachel. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Game Day View. Today we start with just the Game Day 2. Patrick Clavon, Cynthia Freeland here. Those two, Greg and Rachel, are representing Cynthia, not just the league, but North America as well. Good for them. They I'm, did it. I'm glad they're, you know, that we really picked the right two. Yes. Because you, you don't want you don't want this trouble. No. You don't you don't want this, you don't want this. Uh, over here. We, we appreciate you guys spending time with us here on NFL Network and on NFL.com. But there's plenty of ways to get your football fix, including the pylon on Amazon Prime Video, where they have special guests. Please welcome Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow. Woo! Good to be here, Sarah. I am definitely QB one of the Cincinnati Bengals, Joe Burrow. Taryn, I don't think that's Joe Burrow. Uh, what? Don't be ridiculous. Look at him. Come on. I am so Joe Burrow, a.k.a. Joe Cool, a.k.a. Joe Shiesty, born December 10th, 1996 in Ames, Ohio. No filmography. <laughs> I love it from Faux Burrow there joining us now here on Game Day View. It's Taryn Killiam and Sarah Tiana uh, in, in just the, the most comfortable chip. We literally call these the comfies. We're yeah. so glad to have you guys with us here. We're studio twinsies. Yeah, yeah. thank you for letting Thanks. us use the space for our brand new show only on Prime. <laughs> We're told not to say Amazon, just for what it's worth. But you Prime Video, it. I think, right? Uh, Prime Video, sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was hoping for Optimus, to be honest, but I'm a nerd. <laughs> yeah, we're having a lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun on the show, obviously. Yeah. That's all we're doing is having fun. Good, exclusively fun. That's your job. <laughs> That's yeah. it. You are the fun people. We're trying our best. <laughs> I'm just saying that it's like it, it, the vibe of watching football with your friends and making jokes and, 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 and roasting the players, but your friends are professional comedians paid to be there. Mm-hmm. That's perfect. like great for me because yeah. I'm not funny at all. Cynthia, no, it's selling herself short. Best, all joke, the time. best joke right now. Go. Yeah. I don't have a joke. <laughs> okay. All right. She was being honest. We're, we're going to get I'm being honest, honest, and I appreciate honest. that. I'm not we're we're going to get Cynthia's jokes. We're going to get picks as well, but we start picks by looking back at last week. And for a couple of us who Pat, are no Greg, longer in, in America right now, uh, Greg and Rachel are actually being punished by, by being sent to the UK uh, oh. because their picks were so bad. That's why they're not with us. Uh, but <laughs> Cynthia and I had decent weeks. You had a great week. That, well, I you just, it. you know, the model runs millions of No, it's it's luck, guys. Don't don't pay attention to me. Or pay attention to me. Do, do whichever one <laughs> you, should, you want. You actually probably should pay attention to you. That's a great week. Well, thank you. 12 a, a, a good four. week. Oh, yeah. Goodness. See, see last if, uh, week, too. Who, who have you picked? Well, the you right know. people. Yeah. It's, it's sometimes the universe sends vibes. And, I, I want to know who the four are. I'll like, that's easy, yeah. easier to get to. <laughs> yeah. You should have seen the week before. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. It, it didn't go well. Everything kind of evens out. So let's look here at the rematch. Match of Super Bowl 55 uh, over in uh, London. Rachel and Greg have selected the Chiefs. Uh, Cynthia, how do you feel about this matchup with Super Bowl quarterbacks? So you know how we always talk about we need to wait till the final injury report comes out. Well, we absolutely need to wait till the final injury report comes out in this one. I have a very, very tight game forecast here. Just a one point win for the Bucks, 24 to 23. Now, Chris Godwin appeared on the injury report today, so that could be a problem. But you know who isn't on the injury report? It's Leonard Fournette, and that's going to be a big help because Tom. Tom Brady has some interesting early season splits. He needs that slot guy. He needs the guys in the interior, in between the hashes, 
making sure that those kind of linebackers are taken care of. He doesn't have Gronk this season. Obviously, the receiving core has been a problem, but Leonard Fournette will help out in this one, and I think their opportunity to run on the Chiefs will be there. So Leonard Fournette, safety valve there this week. Yeah, it just has to be. I see that playing. I also have a rock fight in this one, but I'm taking the Chiefs 20-17 uh, to 17 in this one. And Wait, I'm we have at, a prime number. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> Cynthia, I don't, I don't even know what prime number is. A prime <laughs> video number. There it is. <laughs> Mm, no, just Prime uh, Video. I'm still learning, guys. I'm just, so new. Just, just I'm Prime just happy video. to be here. <laughs> Keep it up there. Terry, we're happy to have you here, too. Honestly, I, I'm looking uh, at, the, at the backs and the tight ends, the CEH, and also Travis Kelsey. I see Travis Kelsey having a bounce back in this one. If, if the Chiefs do score, uh, I think it's going to be these guys. It's going to be a close game, low-scoring game, because the Buccaneers defense hasn't allowed more than 27 points all season. I, I don't see that happening in this game either, but... Uh, Chiefs because their, their offense is healthier right now and the Buccaneers having a little bit of struggle fest and I think Sarah you have a, a theory with yeah. regards to quarterbacks Ooh. struggling. Yeah, I just feel like this game is going to be a dud because honestly <laughs> I feel like listen I feel like quarterback quarterbacks go through a real depletion period when they're having babies and Patrick Mahomes <laughs> is, is having babies. Uh, Brady went through it when he was having babies and now Brady's having grandchildren I think. But so like well, I just, Patrick already have a baby? His and he little has brother. one on the way. Oh, oh yeah, so. his little brother. Thank you. That's his. Yes. I'll be quiet tiny, for the rest of the show. Tiny infant baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, no, his wife's pregnant. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. It's, yes. So I just feel like it's gonna be a. Everyone's expecting it to be so fun. What well, What you're saying is like Fournette and like they're gonna be relying on handing off to all these great players instead of slinging the rock themselves. Yeah, yeah Mahomes. I mean, last game. Uh, obviously not included. Mahomes looks very good this year. M Mahomes has stepped but up. what about in that his way. playing? Uh, I, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I just like a high fade. <laughs> the, the, the ultimate takeaway, if you're expecting as a quarterback, expect things to the, the, not just your personal life, yeah. like but your ability to fall apart. I think Brady's limited preseason is still, is still affecting is. the team in general. I don't, do. I'm don't sorry. Don't take sorry. vacation. Sorry, goat. Tearing down on vacations. Uh, right now, <laughs> we'll leave uh, this game. Looking forward to the, this rematch. It gets a little this guy or that guy, Cynthia, um, because it's a couple of guys that have no stranger to throwing touchdowns. They both had 50 touchdown seasons. But let's put a huge number out there. Four touchdowns in this game. Together? No. One quarterback in this game, either Brady or Mahomes, four touchdowns. Which one more likely? <laughs> Neither. Neither <laughs> are going to throw Thank four you. touchdowns. I, look, four touchdowns is a ridiculous number. Maybe four together. Yeah. Okay. I could go for that. Patrick Mahomes is a bit more likely to throw the touchdowns because if you look at what Todd Bowles does best, he really does a good job of limiting opposing runners. But let's be honest, four touchdowns is a – that's too many. Too many. Too many for one. Together, they have four. <laughs> if Together. It, if it's just one with Smith Schuster, I'll be happy because I got him <laughs> I on do my think, fantasy I think Smith Schuster think, has a break. I, he's been getting better and better each week. I th that's a great pick. I, but four. I switched him in. That's, that's only one. Thank that's you, three more. Yeah, he'll, I'll, I'll take four. Trust right. me, I'll take four <laughs> from that combo. I think I think Mahomes. I think Mahomes is going to have a strong game. I think because of the rematch of the Super Bowl. And it, listen, I'm a Rams fan. Read the sweatshirt. And, and you had your Jared Goff, Tom Brady Super Bowl that did not go very well for us. It was a pretty boring game. Mm -hmm. But that spite from that Super Bowl specifically mm -hmm. drove the Rams to become world champions, if you hadn't heard, world champs. 2021, 20, 22, technically. Um, so I think that the spite of Mahomes trying to prove all these quarterbacks respect Brady, right? You got to. And I think, like, the hunger for getting his respect, I think Mahomes is going to shine. Taryn is going revenge. All revenge, 100%. Uh, it plays a role. And, you know, Taryn isn't just making this up about being a Rams fan. We have photographic evidence. Ooh. This is... Yes. What, is, is this just a, a general, like, a, mo a Monday night game? Like, what was the This is Super this? Bowl. This I did oh. a poll. I did a Twitter poll. Should I paint my face for the Super Bowl? It was a yes. I think I made it from about noon that day till about 1.30 of pre-gaming, drinking, sweating, partying, dancing, and it very quickly became like Ziggy Stardust, like glam <laughs> rock, <laughs> just melted <laughs> off my face. But, yeah, that was, that was me going all in uh, for the Super Bowl, the most recent one, which was the happiest day of my life. There and is. I have two children. <laughs> Yeah, you can't, you can't have too many children because then you can't throw the football anymore. Exactly. Like, exactly. Things just start going south. So uh, you had to beat the 49ers to get to that game. So what yeah. do you see coming up in this one? I am nervous. I am nervous, of course, because in the way that it's been proven that the Rams have the Cardinals number, San Fran certainly in the regular season has had 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 the Rams number. 
I think the absence of Trent Williams it will make all the difference. I do. I just think, I think <clears throat> Gaines, Floyd, Donald, that trifecta is so healthy and dominant right now. And now you got B Wags behind them. I just, uh, you, without Trent Williams there to protect <laughs> Jimmy G, who's back, who's, who's still, you know what I mean? Still kind of on, not on firm ground. I, I feel very, very confident the Rams will win by more than 10 points. Well, now you got me juiced up. Uh, yep. Speaking of the, the number here, 49ers favored by one and a half. Uh, over there in the UK, the National Football League of Nations dad. in Rachel and Greg, <laughs> uh, both taking the 49ers. I am actually going to disagree with them. I've got the Ramley in this one because I, I'm with Tara. Um, 20 to 19, not by a ton, uh, but, but again, it, the, the absence of Trent Williams, but mainly uh, the way Jimmy G is playing right now. And I think we've forgotten that Jimmy G is coming off of shoulder surgery. Yes. It, it feels like it's like, oh, well, Trey goes down. We'll just put Jimmy G. This isn't standard issue Jimmy G. I, I think this is a Jimmy G that's recovering, and I think we saw that against the Broncos. Uh, Cynthia, what do you see? You know what? You've been we've been working together too long because I have almost exactly the same scores. You 22-21 Rams upsetting the 49ers. You talked about it. Trent Williams not being there is gigantic, not just literally because he's a large <laughs> man, but also <laughs> in every way possible. Remember, this is a team that relies on a lot of outside zone rushing. You know what you need for that? A, a really good tackle to make sure that yeah, it helps. You, know, you set the edge there. And if you want to pass, remember, Jimmy didn't start the season playing with the number one, so he has to establish that chemistry and get it going here, and it really is hard. There are dramatic on and off field splits between when Williams is there and when he's not. It's not great when you're really trying to reincorporate a quarterback that has not necessarily been practicing with all the number ones. I don't know if anybody heard about this, but Jimmy G stepped out of the end zone last game. Yeah, but Jimmy G is still Jimmy G. Like, he's still good. Yeah. He's so underrated, and I love a player that bets on himself. Jimmy G bet mm -hmm. on himself. Lamar Jackson has bet on himself. Yes. Calvin Ridley bet on himself. <laughs> There's so many players out there that bet on themselves, <laughs> and we should give them the credit they deserve. I agree. I'll like Jimmy G again when he lands with whatever team he <laughs> signs with next year for a whole lot of money. But also, Rachel and Greg can stay in London because they picked the Niners. <laughs> I, I love that. Yeah, stay. <laughs> stay right over there. I will get to the promo uh, because NFL <laughs> Plus is the league's new exclusive video streaming subscription service. <laughs> NFL Plus has your game day covered with live, local, and primetime, regular season, and postseason games right there on your phone or tablet. NFL Plus available in the NFL app and at NFL.com. Subscription plans start at just $4.99 a month. Fans can visit plus.nfl.com and sign up for a free seven-day trial of NFL Plus today. Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, who can deny the immense talent of both of these men? No one on this show, but who stands alone in picking one quarterback over the other? Find out next on Game Baby. Back here on Game Day, if you know hype needed when these two teams go into a matchup, uh, the Bills favored by three. Uh, game Day View diplomats, uh, the Game Day View in, if you will, Rachel and Greg both have the Bills uh, winning by five. Uh, Cynthia, what do you see in this one? Well, I have the Bills winning by three right now, but if I had to say if it was going to be more than three or less than three, I think it would be more than three. Mm. So when I look at what is going on between all of the injuries on both sides of this game, I think it's going to be pretty decently high scoring, 27 to 24. But I really want to focus on Stephon Diggs because I think that that's exactly who Josh Allen will be focusing on. If you look at the hitch route specifically, nobody's been better than Stephon Diggs since becoming a Bill at that hitch route. So proficient. And when you have injuries like we haven't even seen Marcus Peters, like both secondaries are quite decimated. I think I have a lot more faith in this established connection between these two in this situation with other pieces missing to that Ravens defense. So I just think it's going to be a huge Diggs game. I, I, I can see it being a huge Diggs game, especially mm. considering even when Marcus Peters was back his first game off that torn he's not He's not right. It, like, he had to cover like Tyree Kill. That didn't work out. But it doesn't work out for many people covering time. Yeah, it's it's not always easy. And I, I say the but uh, because, as Cynthia mentioned, both of these teams are dealing with injuries. Uh, one team probably more experienced in dealing with those injuries. That's why I have the Ravens winning by a late touchdown, 27-21. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it again. I'm picking the, 
against the Bills, which has not worked out for me uh, this season. <laughs> but uh, I, I see J.K. Dobbins coming back, uh, getting a second opportunity to play a second week in a row, changing something for this offense. They've struggled. They, they went and got 2014's best running backs uh, in, in kind of a, a, a push to just find somebody viable a season ago. He had those six yards of carry, and I've just been waiting. I've been waiting. I think we're going to get more J.K. Dobbins, and we're finally going to get this Ravens run game to go with Lamar playing even past his MVP level. So good right now. And I, I think the rest of the offense is finally going to live up to it. Sarah, you're, you're looking at, you, you don't believe me. No, I'm just sure that Stefan Diggs is going to have a huge game because I'm playing against him in fantasy. So, of <laughs> course, he's going to have a good game. And I feel like we always talk about, like, injuries on all the teams. And I don't think what we talk about enough are the, the fans that, like, the injuries the Bills fans are sustaining uh, before the game, <laughs> after the game. You know what I mean? And, like, they're constantly <laughs> falling through tables and throwing yeah. each other off of things. And I'm like, your team's probably <clears throat> going to the Super Bowl. Don't you want to be alive to see it? Like, what is happening? I think they would counter with they're not alive unless they go through the table <laughs> mm, okay. to see it. It's okay. like coffee. That, like, don't talk to me until I've gone through my table. Don't talk to me until I've gone through my table. I, th I have to believe the Bills will win because the Bills are the Rams' only loss so far. Oh. So if they win, then it just is like, well, yeah, they lost to, like, the most strong team ever. <laughs> um, I mean, we're talking about Jimmy G believing in himself, like, who more mm -hmm. than Lamar this year? Like, right. extraordinary. Yeah. Like, yeah. extraordinary. I think, like, like you said, it, it, in the running for MVP, I'm rooting for him. Yes. I just can't root for any of the rest of the team, really. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I just think Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs on the other side. You got Von Miller. He's still got some of that Rams Super Bowl juice. Do you see a trend that I'm going I, to, I see I'm where going you're to going wedge here. in the Rams in literally every segment in this show? You can because it, it, it'll help, right? In the yeah, power, it's exactly. not college football. Exactly. It doesn't actually help. I'm going to manifest, it. I'm gonna manifest it. Speaking it into existence, <laughs> I, I, think, I think it works there. Uh, because one time when you lose, right? You mm -hmm. go against a, an opponent that beat you. The revenge factor kicks in. Mm -hmm. And who is better poised for a shot at revenge this week than Ooh. one Doug Peterson returning to Philly for the first time as opposing head coach since his ouster from the Burns. Remember that last game? It featured him benching Jalen Hurts for Nate Sudfeld. Maybe double revenge mm -hmm. here. Uh, let's get to the drive to excellence presented by Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> And um, Sarah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you go first here. Oh, how, how really? Do you, how do you see this matchup? Well, I'm just very excited for the Jaguars because I feel like they're having their she's all that moment, you know, <laughs> where they're just like, mm -hmm. everybody thought they were ugly for so long, and now they're like, oh, all of us, I took my glasses off. I'm hot now. <laughs> they're not wearing loves overalls me. anymore. Oh, my God, what happened to you? Can you go to prom with me? So I'm very excited for the Jaguars. I hope they, they uh, kick the crap out of the Eagles just because I want to see how Eagles fans react to a loss like I'm very I just feel like the world is much more fun when Eagles fans are upset like right now they've been so happy mm -hmm. so like no one's you know booing Santa Claus I love that she's all that comparison because Trevor Trevor Lawrence literally yeah. could do the hair toss do yeah. in slow mo. Um, <laughs> I I am begrudgingly happy for the Eagles doing well. I have three brothers who are Eagles fans, one by blood, two by marriage, mm -hmm. all obsessive. So they're having a great great year, and I'm gonna say they're gonna win for that reason, and also because it'll make our head writer Bennett mad because he's a Jaguars oh, yeah. fan. <laughs> yeah. Head writer of NFL Pylon, only um, on Prime Video, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go Rams. I, I think, right, looking at, well, first, I, 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 don't let me forget Rachel and Greg. Um, it seems here. Oh, we they, will let you forget them. They're, they're not uh, that generous because Eagles are getting six and a half. They like the Eagles to win, but they have the Jags covering. And I actually agree with them. I, I love the talent of the Jags uh, pulling them through their tight matchups. It's fun, as Sarah said, for the, them to be legitimate, to have the hair flowing. It's like, <laughs> oh, my gosh, you can, you can put clothes on. Um, <laughs> I like the Philly run game here. And the Jags are first in run defense. Uh, but those come with games against the Chargers and the Commanders in there. I've got Miles Sanders having a solid game here. That's why I'm taking the Eagles in a close one, 27-25. You guys are all, I mean, I guess this is where I show how little fun I am because I'm taking the Eagles but big. I'm going with 29 to 21. That's what the model pops up. Why? Because when you look at this Eagles pass rush, it's 
incredible. And you look at what happens to Trevor Lawrence. He may have the great hair. He may have the great hair toss. But the difference between when he's under pressure and when he's not is currently the most dramatic in the league. So if they're able to rush the passer just as well as we've seen them do, it's going to be a problem. And it's nothing against Trevor Lawrence. Let's just give it another year. You know, it's not necessarily this year. Yeah. I think it's, you know, maybe this is our meme alert here. But, you know, yeah. this, it's, I think, it's, I think alert. it's as a Georgia Bulldog, I will say that Jordan Davis is now he's part great. of that. On he's the great. He's great. Back here on Game Day View, and we want you to watch football on NFL Network Sunday morning, 9.30 a.m. Eastern. Kirk Cousins and the Vikings taking on the Saints. Coverage starts with Game Day kickoff at 7 a.m. Eastern. And again, you can watch this, the seven-day free trial of NFL Plus, plus.nfl.com. But we want to get ready for the game, and Rachel Benetta will get us ready for that. Hey guys, RB, KB here. We are in London for the International Games. Kyle, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Do you think that London is ready for the other kind of football to get here? I think London thinks that it's ready. Mm, I agree with you. You want to show them a little something, something? You want to show them some pointers? Let's show them a little something, <laughs> something. Dig deep now. That is her oh 93rd God. chip. No, no, I don't want to hear it. 93rd chip. Oh Look, God. she even has a chip on her shoulder. Oh. That's how she eats. Oh Come God. on, Benetta. Let's go. All right, London. So now you are ready for the other kind of football. Feel good? I feel okay. You look hungry to me. I know a great fish and chips place right <gasps> down the street. I don't know why you're walking away. It's great. Kyle managed to not jump through that table. That that's yeah. how you know that it wasn't <laughs> yeah. an American tailgate. Uh, how, how do that you that was so how, inaccurate? How how would you tailgate? Well, as, first as, of all, as, everybody knows every British football fan is a Jaguars fan. Yeah. <laughs> that was the only team that ever played there. <laughs> Sorry. I like that. All right. I, I, I miss Rachel again. That yeah. was fun. I also, I think my favorite thing about that sketch is that Kyle finally had to change what has now got to be such a nasty Union Jack t-shirt that he's been wearing all week. <laughs> you know, yeah. that thing is just like, he took it off like a shell, like a Lego shirt, and it just sat there with his form. Yeah. Crispy like fish and chips. It's walking. The, the, the shirt has a life of its yeah. own uh, at this point. Let's talk the game. Uh, so the Vikings favored by two and a half. Rachel's taking the Vikings. Uh, Greg's going Saints, uh, 23 to 20. I would join the esteemed ambassador Rosenthal on this one, but the, the Saints are just uh, too hurt uh, for me. I'm not going to take a team flying to London, uh, playing hurt. Uh, Jameis uh, is doubtful, can't guard Mike, not practicing. I think he's been ruled out. Um, and, and they've been in London for a while. And, and while they're my Super Bowl pick, I'm taken by the Vikings by a field goal, 23-21 to 21 Minnesota in this one, coming off that comeback win against the Lions, against Cynthia Freeland's Lions. Mm. I didn't Cynthia, pick them. Uh, what, what, I didn't uh, pick them last week. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> don't put uh -oh. that on me. Mommy and not, Daddy are not, tied, <laughs> not tied to the institution. <laughs> what happened? Is it us? <laughs> I'm picking the Vikings 23 to 19. You talked about those injuries, and that really solidified the score for me. It was closer when we thought maybe there was a chance that can't guard Mike would be there, and he's not, and Alvin Kamara is also banged up. So I do want to point out a good sleeper for fantasy purposes here, and that's Irv Smith. I think that the tight end will see a lot of opportunity here because – 
as much as I'd like to say that it's going to be this huge Justin Jefferson game, Marshawn Lattimore is not going to let that happen. I think they're going to see a lot of coverage on him. And while Jefferson may have a touchdown, I just think that this is going to be an opportunity to take the tight end, maybe get those extra points. In fantasy, you can never figure out tight end. So this is one where Irv Smith seems to be like just right on the like the edge of being really great for your fantasy team. So maybe this week. This is the week. All right. All right, first of all, I could never pick the Saints to win ever, but now that Andy Dalton's going to be there with his first team all hair, I'm like, at least I'll be watching it very intent. Look at him. Look at him looking perfect. <laughs> Look at him. Like, I just woke up like this. <laughs> like, he always looks like he had a rump under the covers <laughs> with, <laughs> with, like, just lovely people. Yeah, he's the most handsome Braveheart character I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. I also think you can't count out Taysom Hill. Sorry, guys. Oh, you sound Sorry. like their offensive coordinator. <laughs> I am. <laughs> You'd be better. That's why they're struggling. <laughs> pulls, the, pulls the face off. <laughs> it's Pete Carmichael the whole time. I would have won the, the games, too, if it wasn't for you kids and your stupid <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait uh, to see what happens in that game. Well, we're going to have more from Rachel coming up in just a bit. But now it's time for us to make a bunch of people mad at us. Maybe some oh, of you. Great. As we get a look oh. at all of our sweeps, our meme alerts, we're all in on the, the Steelers as well as the Packers, the, the uh, Philadelphia Eagles, and Sarah. I'm so sorry. We're all taking the Browns over Good. the Falcons. We I have a like chance to do to some therapy out. here. How does this make you feel? Oh, it makes me feel very normal for like the last three years. Like no one's talking about us, rightfully so. Like I feel like when people are like, I don't believe we landed on the moon. And I feel like, oh, I'm going to make fun of you. But then I'm like, why am I making fun of you? I have believed in the Falcons for years and I'm sorry for it. And so you have the I reasonably shouldn't... priced beers to go with it. <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. 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 Beers in, 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 any, any, any stadium in the country. This is true. That's right. You might not see a good game, but you'll get cheap alcohol. <laughs> well, that's the thing. They, they have been good games. The Falcons yes. have been in games. We'll see if they're, they're winners here. And now that the fact that we've made them a meme alert, perhaps, Cynthia, yeah. mm -hmm. it, it's, almost, it's almost guaranteed. I would but, feel uh, better if Cordero were playing. Yes. I, it, we don't really know. He showed up on the injury report. He's like my favorite Falcon. Yeah. So I would be happier if you're playing. Patterson's like, good, though. Patterson's strong, you know. That's what she's just saying, right? Oh, yeah. oh sorry. Yeah, he's same for you. Sorry, he's, Cordero. He's on, Patterson. Yeah, he's on, the, he's on the injury report. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. is he? Oh, I didn't dear. know that either. Oh, I'm oh, just dear. hearing about it. Didn't practice uh, all week, but we're, we're going to practice respecting the Falcons, Sarah. Too. I like the Falcons. Thank you guys for We like the Falcons, but you picked the Browns because, you know, they have such great karma right now. To win. <laughs> the NFL pylon, to make sure I'm doing this right. Yes. Wednesday, prime video, the pylon. That's us. I did That's it. us. Thank you so much for hanging Thank out. Thank you for no, letting yeah. us Thank hang you. with you. This is awesome. You guys are amazing. Literally like anytime. Them. Okay. We've got there's, 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 there's chairs uh, back there. We got more <laughs> game day view coming up here. And, and we're honestly looking forward to some quarterbacks. Like, what's going on with Russell Wilson? When are we going to see Dak back? Do they want Dak back? What do we do? Game day view. Next. They want Dak back. Cooper yeah, Rush. We definitely want Dak back. Connor Mudd. Good for Mudd. Let's do the math. We can't just ask Siri all the time. These are the 2022 passing leaders going into week four. Their projections versus Cynthia Freeland's projections a bit higher than FanDuel. Uh, On every one of them. Every single one. All yards all the time. You talked about your expectations for Hertz getting in the end zone through the air and on the ground. Uh, but you think it's a big day for him through the air as well. I do. I think this is a more competitive game. I, I do think it's a big win for the Eagles, but it's not like this lopsided game where there's only runs in the second half. So I think Jalen Hurts is going to keep airing it out. He has great options in the passing game. And I kind of think, you know, you talk about Doug Peterson revenge. I think there's some people there like Jalen Hurts himself that would be like, you know, remember when you benched me? Let's just not do this anymore. <laughs> Let's just pass and score some touchdowns. Yeah. Let's do it. I will prove it to and you. And by the way, I just have to tell you this. You know why your phone doesn't react when she says that? They do this special thing where they program it so that particular one doesn't trigger your phone. Just so everyone knows, you know? Oh. Tech. Hashtag. I didn't even think about that, but yeah. Cynthia is on yeah. the next level. You're learning things here on Game Day View today. Which is why, which is why uh, Cynthia does the projections. That, that was a look <laughs> at some math. It's time to do some over-unders. These are the highest over-unders. 
score fest that we expect yeah. from Baltimore. Bills Ravens make sense. Browns Falcons. I, I like that. And then the Lions yeah. again making an appearance on this graphic because I'm on Ross St. Browns with the playing. Oh, well, okay. There's a, definitely a note on that one. <laughs> uh, Chiefs, Bucks, Broncos, Raiders, Jags, Eagles at 45 and a half. Let's uh, give you guys some of our overs and unders here on game day view as we have an opportunity to do Go thumbs up, thumbs down on some of these. Uh, the Giants and the Bears, the over under 39 and a half. What are we doing, Cynthia? Under? Ooh. I think this is a run heavy situation. I think both of these teams are all about the run game. I think this is actually Saquon Barkley is the number one wide or wide receiver running back for the week. And then I think on the other side, I think Khalil Herbert is also. So it's going to be a pace thing, which means fewer than that many points. Well, pace. And I think you could expect that if you're going off of how the Bears have thrown the ball this season. I got a note on the Bears throwing the ball in this game coming up in the show, but I'm going up, baby. I'm going <laughs> up because I think uh, uh, this Giants pass rush currently uh, in the bottom 10 of the league. I can see the Bears uh, having a little more explosiveness. And then there's the Saquon factor. I, I say Saquon breaks a couple and we and we get more points than we expected. So so I'm, I'm, I'm confident. At 37 points. Yeah, well, I, I've got way over. I think I like we're in the we're in the 40s in that game. I'm looking forward to it. So Commanders and the Cowboys. How do you feel about that one? I think what was the number 41 and a half. I, I, I have more than that. I have 45 Oh, more than our international correspondents 45 points 25 to 20 and I think the Cowboys win this one. I think that when I look to see what's going on with the commander's defense there's lots of ways that they can be targeted and I do also think that they'll have a lot of tricks. You saw the commanders they throw the ball all of the time. So if you look to see how that adds up eventually you get more points than that. So 45 points is what I have. I'm going under it's, the commanders throwing the ball all the time is isn't moving me uh, the way I would like to, especially considering Carson Wentz's performance last week. And while Cooper Rush has operated well in, in the offense, it's it's not as well to justify some of the conversation about Cooper Rush that I've heard. So I'm going to go under in that game under agreeing with uh, Greg and uh, Rachel as well. I love points. I'm a fan of points. I, I wish I could tell you guys uh, we're going to have more points. Cynthia believes there's points. So be, be confident. And that uh, the Raiders would love to get some points. Uh, they would love to win a game in week three. Is it a must win? They said that week three was a must win. What was it? Week four is an extra. Which uh, game isn't a must win, right? Like you should try hard in all of them. Anyway, which one of us is picking the Raiders? Is anybody find out next on game debut? NFL Knockout presented by Caesars Sportsbook is a free to play game on NFL.com. Win an exclusive VIP trip to experience the 2023 Pro Bowl. <laughs> She's my favorite. 2023 NFL Draft. Get the vibes like that lady right there. <laughs> and Super Bowl 57 weekly answer 10 questions about Sunday's games and top the leaderboard to win a trip of a lifetime. NFL.com slash knockout in order to sign up, play and win. Let's get some quick picks done. We've got Denver at Vegas, two offenses that have been kind of surprising. So, Cynthia, uh, surprising in bad directions. What, what are we doing here in this game? You know, I think it's funny because I think it's about time we see the Russell Wilson that we're used to sort of emerge. You saw him actually run last week. It's a big deal. Running, turns out, is helpful. So I have a nice win for the Broncos in Las Vegas. I was surprised. Again, the Raiders, with my gut, I keep thinking, Raiders are going to win this one. Raiders, and then the math comes out, and I'm like, wow, 23-22 Broncos win. Like, that's different. Yeah. I, so gut and... Uh, we're going to keep going with math. It worked last week. Seeing Russ break away and have that you know, those big plays in the fourth quarter uh, make me believe as well. Rachel going lone at The only person other than Drew Christensen uh, who's producing this fine show. I, believe. I think that's a pick with his heart. Yeah. Not his model. Uh, let's get to the Lions playing host uh, to Geno and the Seahawks. And I am summoning the power of Geno Smith in this one in a one-point win uh, by the Seahawks. Uh, 20, 21 to 20. Uh, Hawks went. Greg didn't pick the. You the... get a dog noise for the stray one. Do it again. There it is. It's stray. It's crazy. You don't know. You don't know what to trust. Uh, <laughs> is it me? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Uh, but Greg didn't pick the Seahawks. So. Greg's Geno credibility on the way out, Cynthia. Just, no, he's doing the reverse jinx here. Can we just talk for a moment? Look at the logo with my name. That never. Ha it almost never happens. My team. I get to, usually it's like, oh, I get to be right either way. Like my heart gets to be right or my model. This week it's all 
the same. So Lions, please don't let me down. No, I'm on Ross St. Brown. That's a problem. I don't think DeAndre is supposed to play. Okay, so Jamal Williams shifts in, and that's going to be great for him, for your fantasy team. But please don't let me. Please don't let me down. See? Please don't let me down. Don't, don't let not the model. Don't, don't, don't let the, do it the for the model. Do it for the model. He is invested in the Lions. The oh, horror the, the model picks. Let's, oh. let's get to the, the, the Tennessee Titans at the Colts. How do you see? It? I, I guess I'm alone here. Prime number. <laughs> Cynthia is a robot. Or a modem, either one. <laughs> a modem or a <laughs> I've got this. It's an it's interesting, I think we're starting to see this Colts team come together. I think this year with all these key players moving in, new quarterbacks like Matt Ryan here, we're going to start to see everything come together. This is why this, is, this pick happens. It's because we're starting to see, just like with Russell Wilson, these teams are starting to have enough plays and snaps together that they're actually starting to perform like we thought. And it also helps when Michael Pittman's healthy. Yeah. Also, also yeah. we'll think. The, yeah. the biggest part of, of their passing game will go to the Chargers <laughs> at Houston, and I'm going to keep my picks consistent here, uh, strictly because this is a situation where you have a team on the road that is hurt. I'm going to say the same thing that I did for the Saints in London. It's tough. No Slater, no Allen. All right, give me Houston in this one. Um, but that's it. it, and it is another stray bond. I don't, I don't mind being alone on this one because the Chargers are hurt. I hope everybody gets healthy, I hope they especially her both. Yeah, it, it, 26 20s that I have, and no Keenan Allen in this one for your yeah. fantasy notes. Not all points uh, to come by uh, in, in there, but let's uh, let's go to Arizona visiting the Panthers, Cynthia. That's <sighs> Okay, so p pull it up. Give me my little noise. Give me my little noise. I'm sure I'm alone. Oh, I'm not alone. Not alone. Oh, Greg, good job. Still get my noise because he's not here. <laughs> I think that it, it's going to be interesting to see. I, look, if Christian McCaffrey is not playing, then that could switch. But for right now, that's where we're at. 23-22. All right. Looking forward to that. We're looking forward to all these games, but we are looking forward to some more than the other because we feel confident about them. And Cynthia's model feels <laughs> confident about all of these. Uh, Packers over Patriots, Eagles over the Jags. The Bolts. Don't even say the last one. Just, okay. just leave it there okay. because we already did my Cynthia's plea. super confident in her Detroit yeah! Lions. Other than that, which one of these really jump out to you, Cynthia? I mean, Green Bay. That's a huge win. Model doesn't usually pick by, like, 10 points is rare. But mm. this this one's because, look, the MVP from last year, back-to-back -back MVP. And unfortunately for the, the Patriots, they're without their starting quarterback. It's no, no slight to Brian Hoyer, but it makes a big difference not having Mac Jones out there. And Aaron Rodgers is starting to look more and more like Aaron Rodgers. I think we get a Christian Watson touchdown. He looks Ooh. off the injury report so that could be a fun one for your kind of just just watch this watch and see if that one happens redemption for christian watson yeah. and matt lafleur shouting out uh, brian hoyer's 2014 exploits earlier this week that was spectacular. Listen, i like brian hoyer this he went to michigan state i love i'm from you know that i'm from east lansing so you know i'm I, i'm all about liking him but it's just it makes it a lot harder mac jones is a really special quarterback it's he's he's good he's all sparty good. love all, all, all michigan sparty love. on love for the glove uh, here on game day view uh folks the nfl family uh, has has come together to support Hurricane Ian recovery efforts in Florida. Visit NFL.com slash auction to bid on authentic and gain warm items to support the American Red Cross's Hurricane Ian relief efforts. You can also visit redcross.org slash NFL or text the word Ian to 90999 to make a $10 donation to help those in need. Vikings fans, Saints fans, welcome to beautiful London, England. I know a bunch of you guys are traveling for the international games, and since I've been here for a minute, I thought I'd scout a few places for you guys to hang. So we're in the Saints bar right now, and actually a bunch of their drinks are named after famous Jameis Winston quotes. So this one is actually called, Our Body is So Symmetrical. Right, you, you, got, you got your wrists, you know, you got your wrists on the bottom, your ankles, you know, you got your shoulders on top, on your shoulders, you get hips, you know what I'm saying, your elbows, your elbows, your knees, right, like so. But it's symmetrical and you just got to work Different it. parts. A little long if you ask me, but cheers. Oh God, that's strong. <laughs> And Vikings fans, you have your own bar too, but the only thing is, you can only get in if you do a good gritty. Let's, let's try this out. You know what else this bar has, Saints fans? W-shaped pretzels, okay? We never have to see this again. It's tasty and it's also sanitary. <laughs> Okay, have you ever seen Jameis do the eating the W video? Yes, one time. Okay, can you do this? Ah. 
Let's go! <laughs> Vikings fans, you're already going to feel right at home because I taught the kind people of London your quarterback's favorite saying. You like that? Excuse me, miss. Can you say Kirk Cousins' favorite saying you like that? Please, miss, please. Excuse me, sir. Can you say you like that? Do you like that? No, you like that. Do you like that? Just, I just need you to say you like that. Do you like that? We'll try another person. All right, I have a favor to ask you. Can you say you like that? You like that. You like that. You like that. Love it. I love that. So there you go. Once you land in London, you are going to be all set. I'm going to go get a drink. There it is, Rachel, still working on the gritty, but the, the, the folks are gonna be ready to say you like that. I mean, I like it with a British accent even better. It, it, it sends it maybe Kirk. We, we need to send a clip of that to Kirk Cousins yeah. so he can, after the game, just say that. Just affect that. Because it'd the, be so perfect. The gruff it? as well. Uh, we got some some predictions. Uh, do you have a quick prediction for the people? Yeah, I think Garrett Wilson catches a pa touchdown pass from Zach Wilson. We get a good Wilson to Wilson first touchdown in, his, in Zach Wilson's return. Go Jets, take flight. I love that. Uh, Wilson to Wilson. I will take one because Justin Fields hasn't completed 23 passes oh, this boy. Year, 24 passes this year. I think that Justin Fields will throw the ball 25 times this week against the Giants pass rush that is so, thus far the oh, worst pass rush. So you're rush. not saying he's completing it. At first I thought you were like kind of low-key like, like shade. Now it's like okay he's going to throw it and he's going to attempt at least 45. Yes. It, 25. At least 25 actual attempts. I'm not saying drop back. Mm, got it. I, I'm not going to take cheapies. Justin Fields will throw at How least many will he complete? 25 forward passes. Well, let's get it. You put me on the spot. 17. Okay. Let's 17 get it. 17 of 25. A great Justin Fields game, and, and people will, everybody in Chicago will feel a whole lot better, and, and things will be good. Look, the people of Chicago, are, they're, they're fine. They're, they're happier, right? They're going to be totally fine. This is this is a good one. I think we're, Khalil Herbert. We're fine too, but we miss Greg and Rachel. We miss you we look guys. To you guys coming back. Thanks you for like watching that. Game Day View. You like that. For Cynthia, I'm Patrick, and for those two as well. We'll see you guys next week.